I get the milk breakfast, please? Now, no bed and breakfast is a breakfast without champagne. Two glasses of champagne. You can guess who the other person will be. Champagne, tetonge. Wow, how do pop out tea? Black coffee, it's so strong for me. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. And this is how Lady Diana learned to stir her coffee. Ah, it's in Xiao Zhong. This is the way Lady Diana learned how to use her napkin. You want to make sure that you fold it in half. Always wipe your mouth on the inside of the napkin. And have a clean napkin. Yoni the pagan. Mm. pagan. Raho Nida Shizu Zai Shamia. Wishma chicken yo yo yali kuj kui kui ya the ju. Jani chia the shaho. If we look at how we cut, right, then your two index fingers are on top of the knife, on top of the fork, and you have downward pressure to cut your fork, to cut your food. And then your, the, the tines of your fork are down, so you need to the chia, and you just bring it up to your mouth like this. This is how I eat my eggs. This is Sarah's method of how to eat fried eggs. Mmm. There's something about ketchup on egg white. It's just so good. So what you'll notice is I cut this pentagon. Whoop! This is the best thing about breakfast in bed. Mmm. Oh, we always use our hands to break bread. We never bite through it. I knew it. I knew there was chocolate in here. This is hidden treasure. Break it in half with your hands. Put down one half. And then, you know, we break a bite. A bite that's just big enough to fit into your mouth. Mmm. Now is the time for one of my favorite foods, the banana. <laughs> is this plate too small? <laughs> or is the banana too big? <laughs> this is the segment on how to eat tricky foods elegantly. So, first we cut off the head of the banana. And then we cut off the tail of the banana. Skin deep into the banana to hold it steady. 90 degree angle, you slice, you have your banana. You always eat the banana from the left to the right. If you eat it this way, the banana actually tastes better. And then when you finish eating it, is you put the head and the tail back inside. And then you cover it up like it is an original banana. The Ipian Chia. Wow, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go this is so you can let the orange stand up on its own without any aids. And then what you do is you put the fork skin deep, Whenever I cut an orange, I always end up sweating. And uh, I don't think I need to go to the gym today. And you want to be as quiet and elegant as possible when you cut this orange. And then, peel the orange, and it comes out like a flower petal. This is 10 times harder than cutting the banana. The banana was easy. All right, so now everybody knows how to have breakfast in bed. And for me, I'm gonna go back to bed. Is this where Meghan Markle took a selfie? Yes. And posted it. I, exactly. I looked right at there. it and I, could, I felt like it, this was it because the light is so good.
Hi, Isabel. So nice to see you. And I would love it if you could show me around. I would love to show you the penthouse. It's going to be on the 16th, which is the last oh, floor. Cool. This is the penthouse, as you can see. Oh, it's big. It is. Is this where Meghan Markle took a selfie? Yes. And posted it. I, exactly. I looked at right it and I, could, I felt like it, this was mm -hmm. it because the light is so good. This is Meghan Markle, the Queen of Hali Wangzi. She was sitting here and she did a photo. So I also wanted to do a photo. Hi, Meghan. Hi, Meghan. Hi, Meghan. Hi, Meghan. Seven days ago, Meghan Markle was sitting here, taking a photo and putting it on the Mark Instagram with this amazing view. So how much is this penthouse? So this penthouse is $75,000 a night. 七万五块美元一晚，所以就是基本上五十多万人民币一晚。你住得起吗？我住不起，私聪住得起。What happened last week with Meghan Markle's baby shower? Because I read about it on the Red Eye, on People Magazine, OK Magazine, every single magazine had it. It was all over. And Serena Williams, I think, picked up the tab. This is what I read in the magazine. She took care of the baby shower. She actually threw the baby shower for Meghan Markle. And they had a wonderful time here for a couple of hours. And Amal Clooney, who we all love, George Clooney, the main Yu Shi Tai Tai, also co-hosted with Serena Williams. Exactly. Wow, a star-studded event. Who else came? It was wonderful. Unfortunately, I can't disclose. And this is why the mark is the mark. You know, we just keep everything very confidential. So does this take up the whole floor? Yes, it takes up the whole floor of the mark, yes. So this is the mark You see how we have chimneys all over. This little library, which is wonderful also. Yeah, this is more like maybe where the men hang out. Exactly, and watch their soccer, their soccer game or their football game. Who are some of the famous men who've, who've stayed in, in here? We've had some, but once again... <laughs> well, George Clooney must have come before. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw Victoria Beckham walk out of this entrance. I'm sure probably you saw it on the news, yes. I saw it on the Instagram. So we have um, five bedrooms and six bathrooms. This is a cozy room. That's a cozy little room. This is like my room. <laughs> my room is a bit bigger than this. Very cozy. Oh, I like this. You can sit down with your husband. Exactly. You know, you can have a little chat. Keep some distance it's with your husband. <laughs> you can be in the bed and we'll stay here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jacuzzi bathtub. Jacuzzi bathtub and the water actually comes from up, from the ceiling. Wow. So you can Amazing. feel it on your body. Exactly, if you want to. Amazing. I like that it's just so subtle. It is subtle. It's just, you know, it just feels like home. It doesn't really feel like a hotel. What we do is celebrities come in from our main entrance and we do have contact with their assistants and our security unlock the elevators and wait. So they just come straight into the elevator and close it and boom, they go up, which is great. I didn't think to come to the you know, in China, we also have these pedicabs. You do. But, but they're not considered a luxury. <laughs> but it's the best way to avoid traffic. As you can see, we have a little um, flat for when it snows. For guests can just borrow and um, go in the snow in the car. Well, thank you so much for You're my tour. You're very welcome. It was so wonderful meeting you. Thank and you, Isabel. Very soon. I'll be back. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be posting a new video each week with tips and tricks that I think will help all of us lead a better life.